unboxing of the OnePlus 11. Now this came in the other day, ordered it directly from OnePlus.com, red box that OnePlus has been doing for a few years now. I do dig this red color that they use and I like how it's kind of like this very clean matte black on the bottom of the box. Gives it a nice contrast. Overall, gotta give props to the packaging. OnePlus doing a good job in that regard. Okay, anyway, this is the OnePlus 11 obviously. So you can see there's some design elements there, there on the 11. So that's pretty good. Collaborating with Hasselblad here for the camera system. So let me know in the comments if you want me to, you know, do a video on the cameras of this phone. OnePlus 11 5G. And then on the bottom, Android obviously, and some information of this device in particular. All right, so let's just uh, get right into it. As you can see here, uh, let's see here. Do not uh, accept if this seal is broken. And it's not broken, brand new phone. So I'm gonna break it since I own this. <laughs> and here we go. Never settle like that. I like the, uh, the matte black here. Looks very clean. Ooh, 11 right there on the side. And one plus here on this side. Very clean, love the contrast. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. This says never settle. And then so what's in here? Documentation and stuff. I wonder if we get a case with a phone. I don't know, I haven't really seen in any other videos about this phone. Um, so it doesn't look like we get a case, but we do get your usual paperwork and stuff. Safety guide and all this, welcome, quick guide, etc. So have a look at that. And look at this, we get some OnePlus decals. And what is this? We got a charging cable decal, we got a heart decal, we got a light bulb, a gift. What is that? Like a messaging and, uh, you know, touching your phone, haptic feedback, something like that. That's pretty cool. And then here we have your uh, little adapter here for your transferring, right? So that's cool. And then it dropped, but a uh, SIM ejection tool that looks like a, a happy face if you see it. And oh, here's the phone. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it. Nice, nicely packaged. Yeah, I gotta give one props, one props, one plus props on their packaging. Very uh, nicely uh, done here, neatly packaged. And this is the uh, the Super Vook, right? That's what they call it now, the fast charging. So let's see here. Yeah, Super Vook. And what is this now? Is it like 50 watts or whatever? Um, what does it say here? I don't know. Well, let me know in the comments. I'm sure one of you know what the stats are on the charging brick. And then this is the uh, charging cable. So you can see, we all know what this looks like. I'm gonna put that back in its home and then put this back. I'm gonna put that to the side and then we're all here to see this guy. One plus 11, check out that camera. Collaboration with Hasselblad yet again. So let's, um, yeah, let's just uh, undo this real fast. There we go. I'll try to preserve this. And here we go. Got it in the, uh, the satin black finish, right? And we have some decals here. Got to remove this, obviously. So I'm going to take this out. And, uh, you know. Stick it elsewhere. I'm gonna stick it to the side of the box here. We'll put that to the side. And here it is. Here's the back of the phone. Check out the Hasselblad cameras, OnePlus branding. Again, this is the satin black. And it has a, yeah, this looks pretty nice. It has a little bit of like a texture to it, right? I don't know if you hear that. I'm rubbing my fingers against it. Looks good. I like it. And here it is up front. The display is curved. I believe this is 6.7 inches, um, 120 hertz OLED display, so that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and turn this on. And it does come with a factory installed, uh, you know, plastic screen protector. Let's zoom in here. I don't know if you can see the cutout for the front facing camera right there. And here we go. Hello. I'm gonna zoom through this setup. In the United States, that's where I'm at. Let's see here. Legal info, now what's the minimum here? Do I have to, I'm gonna uncheck the optional 
and then let's see here okay there we go next connect to a mobile network we're gonna uh, skip this for now let's see here use eSIM no we're not gonna do that let's see it says later I don't think I should have done that no no we're not gonna do that next connect to Wi-Fi I'm gonna go ahead and choose let's see here where to go my Wi-Fi here and enter my password back into it we are connected to Wi-Fi getting your phone ready this may take a few minutes on the bottom here you have your sim tray you have your USB-C port cut off for the mic speaker port and on this side of the phone you have your power uh, button right here and then glad to see this make a return the uh, alert switch or alert slider nice to see that again and then on top here you have a I think that's for a mic or might, that might be IR is that an IR blaster I don't even know let me know in the comments mic cut out and then here you have your volume uh, switch now in the back obviously you have your cameras let's take a look at the hump so have a look at that you have a pretty sizable hump there actually and then Hasselblad branding right there on the lens cool all right copy apps and data don't copy uh, let's see your checking info sign in we're not gonna um, we're just gonna skip the Google sign in for now I just want to get into the phone real quick and then we're gonna bypass all this bypass accept unlock method we're gonna use fingerprint we're gonna go with the pattern okay and then so we're just gonna do one of these there you go place your finger on the sensor all right so let's go ahead and do it not too bad there we go this may take a few moments join the red cable club we're gonna skip that then let's see navigation here I'm old school I'm gonna go buttons <laughs> oxygen OS get started and we are in all right let's go into the settings and then I want to see how much space we uh receive out of the box now this is the 256 gig model all right we're gonna do searching we're gonna go to storage here and then here storage out of 256 it uses 31.1 gigs so you have about what 225 gigs available out of the box brand new pretty nice we'll go to the display light mode or dark mode I like dark mode so I'm gonna switch it to the dark turn off auto brightness screen color mode we'll check that out vivid natural or pro mode I'm gonna leave it to the vivid mode I think that looks pretty good auto screen off I like to set mine for five minutes screen resolution so it comes out of the box with full HD plus I'm gonna go ahead and set it to the quad HD little warning there about power consumption but it's all good turn that on beautiful and then the screen refresh rate leave it on high so you get the super smooth 120 Hertz when you scroll nice okay let's go ahead and check out the Android here go about device as you can see out of the box we have uh, oxygen OS and then let's see here Android 13 obviously go back go back and let's see out of curiosity here go back to about device view updates is there an update already there is so fresh out the box there's already a software update so that's cool I'm gonna do that later go ahead and check out the camera on this phone lets you take photos and videos blah 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 I guess I have to agree right all right so here we go let's go ahead and we'll take a few test shots here what am I gonna take a picture of let's go ahead and take a picture of the previous OnePlus phones here we go we got the 0.6 I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of that this is the 1x picture of that this is the 2x right into the uh the OnePlus 10 Pro there we go and then let's see here I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick video now I want to make sure that this is in uh, 4k I'm gonna go over here and change this to you know 4k and also FYI you can film up to 8k here as you can see now I don't know if it's 8k24 or 8k30 let me know in the comments but we're gonna go back to the 4k should be good enough for this video I'm gonna go to 0.6 and then we'll take a sample video right now 
Okay, this is a sample video from the OnePlus 11. This is filming in 4K. I believe it's 30 frames per second. So anyway, not much here. This is just the unboxing table here, as you can see. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, let's see, I'm gonna go to the 1X. This is 1.3X actually. Go ahead and adjust that to the 1X. There's a little slider in the camera app. So you can adjust that. So anyway, this is the 1X. And then so what's the max that I can take this to? Whoa, that's all the way up to 10X. So this is actually 10X. Wow, look at that. Looks like a 10X digital zoom though. I'm gonna take it all the way back to, uh, let's see. This is 2X. I think that looks pretty good. So anyway, quick video here from the OnePlus 11. I'm gonna go back to the 1X here. 1X, let me know how the audio sounds as well. Peace out. All right, there we go. Just a quick little video there from the OnePlus 11. Compare it real quick to get rid of that pet hair uh, to the OnePlus uh, 10 Pro here from last year. Have a quick little comparison there. Here are the displays. So have a look at that. And then of course we do have the uh, OnePlus um, 10T here from last year. Have a look at that. Display is very dim on this. I'm gonna go ahead and brighten this up. Let's see. Go, it's a little bit better. Have a look at that. Flip it over. There it is. Cool. So let me know in the comments below what you want me to do with a OnePlus 11 speed tests, camera tests, etc. versus the OnePlus 10 Pro versus the OnePlus 10T versus the iPhone 14 Pro Max versus Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and several other phones, Pixel 7, etc. Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Peace out.